Good morning, folks. First thing we're going to start off is going over some of the smart devices that you can get. And these are just a few. Okay, we have the uh, smart light here, which uses a hub. On this end, we have a smart light that does not need a hub, my preference. But, um, you know, see the way you want to go. You can add use one hub and add several devices to this one this one all you have to do is add the uh, device to your uh, app we'll go over how to set up this particular bulb today and we have the google nest camera we also have uh, the google nest mini and as you see over here we have the regular google nest hub and uh, right here we have a smart device that is used to control individual devices uh, like uh, lights and ceiling fans and small uh, components that are uh, not feasible putting a switch in this here is a smart switch is which is a very nice switch right here very inexpensive on ebay okay uh we'll go over and look at a few of these things okay uh first off we will look at the smart switch let's open up the box Okay, it's very nicely protected. It has a very nice finish to the front of it. it. Comes protected, and it's black as you can see here. When you operate this, all you have to do is you rub your finger over it, and it's also controlled by the Google uh, Hub or your Alexa device. All you have to do is name it a particular name when you set it up and tell Google or Alexa to turn it on or off as needed. Okay, out around the back is where your connection is. Which on this particular unit here, you've got a neutral and a line. And then you have another line. This can be used as a uh, three-way switch as well here. Okay, I like these tremendously. They're they're kind of complicated setup. We'll go over setting up one on one video, but today we're just going to go over the different devices. Okay, this device here it's about five dollars for this and uh both these devices i bought from the same place so they use the same app i like to try to get the same name brand items if i can especially if they're good devices and that way you only have to have one app to set the stuff up and control it but once you get it set up you can control it with either the google home or the uh, uh alexa app and device okay what this does right here you got the line in you have your you know, like you'd have your black wire here and your white wire here when you connect this in or whatever your hot wire is and your neutral wire this goes in and this goes out to your device which could be um usually on electrical wiring the white wires, the neutral, and the uh, line, which is a hot wire, could be any color, anywhere from black, could be red, blue, usually not green though. So once you have this set up here with the power going in and the power going out to your device, you push this little button right here and that sets it into a fine mode and you'll set it up on your app and that'll enable you to set it up. We'll do, be doing a, a video on troubleshooting one of these because I have one in my ceiling fan and we had a tornado come through a while back and the power was out for several days and I had to set up 
several of the devices after the power came back on after being out for about a week. But these are very, very nice for controlling little small devices from internally. Okay, here we have a picture on it, really. I guess you can see a picture here. I'll show you the actual device. I have one open here. This is a smart receptacle. You can plug it in and you push this right here and it'll set it into uh, setup mode and you can use your app to set it up and you can control it, name it what you want and plug in whatever device you want and control it by Alexa or Google. Okay, this device over here is a smart light. And if you look at the smart light, it looks like any other uh, LED light. But this is a Siglin, which they're, they make really good products. But the only drawback I have... That has to have a hub, and the hub does work off Wi-Fi, but I find that it works better to hook it directly with a uh, data cable straight to your uh, router, and it works much better. And this right here is the hub, and here is my data cable going to the router here, and it has a power cord. But it also works off of Wi-Fi, but I tend to lose the Wi-Fi connection. And it was more trouble than it was worth, so I left it plugged in. You'll see right here, there's a little um, UR code right here that you'll scan with your telephone when you're setting it up. And you can add multiple bulbs to these by scanning this, and it'll automatically identify all the numbers and everything and set it up to that particular hub. Okay, I don't have a open uh, Google Mini Hub, but uh, I have one I can show you at a later date. Sorry, open this one. I don't want to open. And then you have the Google Nest camera. They're very expensive, very very high quality, but they're very expensive unless you get them on sale. And if you look back here at the back, here's another type of uh, smart plug. And you basically, you'll uh, download the app and set it up. Uh, like I said, these two devices here use the same app. This device, this bulb here, you can get at Walmart. Harbor Freight sells this particular uh, brand of uh, smart devices. And you can uh, use those set up by the same app. And all of your... Uh, Google products you'll set up under the home app if you have a uh, Android phone that uh, has the Google already installed on it, which uh, I think all of them do. They come installed on it like that, so uh, those are pretty easy to install. Okay, uh, so we're going to pause for just a minute.